five programming languages for ECE students. You might have heard this line that coding is not for ECE students. Guys, this is a myth. Actually, it's essential. It is also used in digital signal processing, data analysis, and while simulating complex systems. Work on IoT projects and implement algorithms for communication protocols. It enhances your problem solving abilities and logical thinking. So if you are confused which language to learn from where to start, then watch this video till end because I am going to tell you top five programming languages for ECE students and the fifth language will help you to make some good level projects. So watch till end. First in our list is C language, the mother of all programming languages. As an ECE student, you will often encounter a hardware that requires low level programming and C is perfect for that. Now why to learn C language in 2025? So actually this language will help you in your foundation building. C is the core part of introductory programming courses. It forms the foundation for subjects like microcontrollers, embedded systems, operating systems. This language is essential for roles like firmware development, embedded systems or hardware software integration. Many companies look for proficiency in C language for working with microcontrollers and real-time systems. So benefits of learning C language is it's highly efficient and fast and it gives you a deeper understanding that how hardware interacts with the software. So if you are planning to start learning C language, then just start with the basic syntax and then move to the pointers and memory management systems. After completing these things, you can work on embedded systems projects. Second language in our list is C++ an extension of C language with added features like object-oriented programming. This language is crucial for advanced systems and simulations. C++ is often a part of object-oriented programming concepts and some advanced topics like robotics and real-time systems. It is also used in simulation softwares covered in electives. Many internships in robotics and control systems require C++ for writing efficient algorithms. It is widely used in automotive and aerospace industries for performing advanced applications. Benefits of learning C++ is it has better control over hardware compared to higher level languages. It is great for developing simulation and complex algorithms. Once you are comfortable with C language, then you can transition to C++ and focus on OOP concepts. Moving closer to hardware, the third language in our list is Verilog, a hardware description language, HDL, which is used for designing digital circuits. Verilog is extensively used in digital system design and VLSI courses. It is must for labs involving FPGA programming and ASIC design. Companies working on chip design, FPGA programming and hardware prototyping often list Verilog as a key requirement. It's invaluable for roles in semiconductor industries. Verilog is an in-demand skill for chip design and testing. Also, it bridges the gap between hardware and software. With the help of Verilog, you can design custom processors and develop prototypes for IoT and robotics. If you are planning to learn Verilog, then start with digital electronics and then move to Verilog. For simulation, you can use Model Sim or Xilinx Vivado. Uh, open source tool is also there, which is EDA Playground. Next in our list is Python, the all-rounder because it's incredibly versatile and beginner friendly. Whether you are working in embedded systems, IoT or AI, Python has got you covered. This language is often integrated with advanced courses like artificial intelligence, machine learning, signal processing and IoT applications. Many internships require Python for data analysis, automation and prototyping. This language is very easy to learn even if you are new in coding. Tons of free resources are available for this language so you can learn from anywhere. Jobs in data science, robotics and automation highly value Python skills. 
You can start this language with basic syntax and then move to the libraries like NumPy and Pandas. Finally, you can explore frameworks like TensorFlow. If you are here in this video till now, then you are actually serious about your career. So let me give you an important update. If you have any doubt related to your career or in which field you should go, how to prepare, how to uh, start your career in core electronics, then you can join one to one session with me. You can either DM me on Instagram or LinkedIn to book your slot. You can see here the feedback. Many students have already joined this session and got their personalized roadmap to start career in core electronics. Then what are you waiting for? Just book your slot today. Last but not the least, we have MATLAB, a must have for ECE students dealing with signal processing and system design. MATLAB is heavily used in courses like signal processing, communication systems and control systems. Lab sessions often require MATLAB for simulations and visualization. In maximum colleges, MATLAB is there in BTEC curriculum. So guys, prepare it well. Many internships and research projects require MATLAB for analyzing and simulating the data. It's a powerful visualization tool with extensive built-in functions for ECE-specific applications. You can begin this language with basic operations and then move to the advanced toolbox. Now it's time to discuss resources from where you can learn all these five languages. Here is the list of reference books. You can follow that. Other than that, for C, C++, you can follow Code with Harry, Apna College or Jenny's lecture. For Verilog, you can refer VLSI point playlist for basics and for advanced, you can refer hardware modeling using Verilog by Professor Indranil Sen Gupta. For Python, you can follow free code camp available on YouTube. And for MATLAB, you can refer MATLAB official YouTube tutorials. So this is it guys. This is about today's video. Hit the like button if you like today's video and don't forget to book your slot for one to one session to clear all your career related doubts. We will meet in the next video. Till then keep learning and stay curious.